top. So I want to go to the drop down and I want to go to combining the items, the binding, uh, the marks. And then if you use this a lot, you'll have it down here as well. But up top here it is, I think. So it says combining overline. That's what I want. So I'm going to insert it and there's the little bar that it put on top. So that looks good. So I'm going to say, okay. So we have that. Now later we're going to be using a sigma and, and we might use a, a mu. So those are common, you know, statistical items. So there's a couple ways we could do a sigma. So I'll show you that one. We can go to the insert one way is the same way. Insert symbols up top. And we can then say, again, I would go to the normal text. And then on the left, now we're looking for Greek and Coptic, Greek and Coptic. And then it's, it, you know, if you don't know the alphabet here, it gets a little bit confusing to find the sigma. Uh, but if you use it a lot, it's actually right there. There's the one because this is in my recently used symbols. But here it is. There's that one. Now I'm going to insert that. So that's, so that's one way we can get that one. And then you could do it a different way because the sigma is the Greek letter for an S. So you could type in an S and, and then, and then I could go into, you can actually go into the symbols on the left-hand side, or I'm sorry, home tab, font group, and type in uh, a symbol, symbol for the font type. And then it'll create a, a, a sigma that way. Now that only works if you just want the sigma in the cell, uh, uh, because if you have multiple things in there, it's going to type them in that font in that font style now as a symbol so sometimes that won't work all the time and but sometimes this one's hard to find you also might have uh, a sigma squared so so if i do the same thing if i copied this sigma if i copy these down i could square each of them a square i can put a two but then of course i, I want it to represent above it so one way to do that i think the easiest way is to select the two and then right click and then format the cell. And then we want it to be a subscript. So I'm going to say subscript and then boom, and it moves it up there and it works on either format. So if I type in a two and I select that subscript and right click format cells and then subscript. So we can do that. And then the letter mu uh, is the other one that uh, is often used. And it's actually, so one way you could do it, it's another Greek symbol. So I can go into the home tab, uh, I'm sorry, insert symbols. And then again, normal text, I'm in the Greek and Coptic, and I'm looking for a mu. And so it looks like this, it looks like a U. So, uh, but I have it already down here. So here it is, it's right there. So again, if you use it a lot, it'll you'll pull it down here into your uh, you recently used so I'm going to say insert and then you could do that as well because apparently that's an M <laughs> which uh, and then you could go and then you can go up top and say uh, home tab and make this a symbol so you could type an M and then uh, hold on a sec that's not right symbol symbol so it's kind of tedious to use this lettering because you might say well why do I need to know this stuff but but you know that's traditionally the way these things are kind of written so it's it's kind of nice to use the uh to be able to to see the symbol and kind of have an idea of what's being what's being used there and then to be able to type that into excel which is kind of annoying but it's possible to do okay so i'm going to highlight this and make it uh bordered and blue and so those just obviously once you once you have that down then you can then you can start to type these formulas in. Now, once you have these formulas in, then the question is, is it easier to do something by hand with a paper and pencil and just work the algebra with a paper and pencil? Or is it easier, and it often is a lot of times, we're just not used to it, to actually you know, make a, basically make a table and do the algebra kind of in Excel in like a worksheet uh, type format. Uh, which we're not used to doing, of course, because normally when we learned math, we never really had Excel to help us uh, to be putting something in. So sometimes, of course, something like the average uh, function in Excel would be quite useful to use, 
but it's like that takes a one step process. You might want to actually see some subtotals along the way, like like calculating the numerator and the denominator. And if you want to actually see what's going on with the formula, then of course you can do it algebraically, but you can also do it in a table wise where you basically are going to be calculating the numerator and you can actually break it out in a table or a worksheet kind of style. And that could be quite useful to understand uh, the things and, and also for the data input if you want the, actually the components of the parts of the formula that you're working through instead of just uh, the result or end result. So we'll look at some of that in future presentations.